up here. That was an autosave. Can I not lower that bridge? A bloodstained sign kind of bummer. reads the hollow marshes in knife scratched cursive. Crossbow without bowstring. Hello. As you near a figure clad in old blackened armor, Sibyl takes your hand and gives it a squeeze. Sibyl wants to talk to this dude. I have a feeling yonder creepy crawly is the lone wolf I've been looking for. You wouldn't mind if I asked him a few pertinent questions, would you? I have personal business with him. I expect him to be in talk-worthy state after she's done. That's funny. So if I say no right now, will I be able to do my business and then have her talk to him? It's I'm going to do that. Him. It's the wolf. I know it. Go on. Be a good sport. This will be over in a jiffy. All right, be a good sport. I'll do my very, very best. Sibyl addresses the solitary figure. You hear but whispers and hisses in return. Just when you think a fight is about to break out, Sibyl's words seem to sway him into submission. Is she badass? He speaks uncomfortably. She listens, her face hard and pale. His name, you overhear her insist. Roost, he croaks. And with that, the interview's over. Come, let's go. I have what I came for. Yes, she left him alive. I know Roost, apparently. No emotional attachments, I hope. She's the one who abducted me, who delivered me to the master. I'm going to find this man, and we're going to get mightily reacquainted. <laughs> Better pick sides before the time comes. Uh, you and me are friends. The hooded man exudes an aura of restrained menace. As he raises his head, the hood falls back. Revealing the gleaming bone visage of the undead. Hey, white. Oh. Ah. Fane didn't want to talk to him, huh? Missed, I presume. He knows I'm me. Friend. You can call me Zaliskar. Zaliskar, that's a cool name. To give you some aid in your little errand. You'll find it easier to corner Alexander out here. And this delicious little morsel called Shadow's Eye should help you send him to his rightful place beside his father in the Hall of Echoes. The undead's bony claw pulls an elaborate Gimme stuff. crossbow from seeming thin air. Oh, nice. It's Again, crossbow man. To the touch and enveloped in misty shade. He proffers it to you, along with a single rank-smelling arrow. Gross. Ah, that should help. Now, run along with your new toys. I've my own errands to run, you know. Uh, do you have any other toys? I, have. I only stock the best balls. The choicest curios. Take a look. Precious wares, are they not? Yep. This means nothing to me. That's garbage. Bloodied arm, get rid of that. What do you got? One handed sword. That thing's awesome. Ooh, what's that? Oh, dude. It's cheaper. That is so much more damage. And I get bonus warfare. And thick of the fight scare. That might be worth it. What's that? Water staff. Arcane Stitch, what's that? Oh. Alright. That might be worth it. Helmet. Nah. Oof. Oh, I only had to trade him 36 gold for that. Totally worth it. All right, Losa. If we can get that staff. Oh.
That's uh, not worth it. And she can't wear it anyway. Oh, wait, that's not the staff. There it is. That might be worth it. Let's see. 331. Sure. Accept. Close out. Close out. Oop, not that. Until we meet again. Peace out, yo. Um, and then we give this at tours. Where'd it go? There. Son of a monkey's uncle. God damn it. Yeah, she was stopped by earlier. Uh, she might have popped out for a second. I think her, her friend was showing her some stuff. Alright, so we're going to move these up. Because we're not going to use these now. I think. Yeah, let's just equip or add to wares. Dang it, Sabeel, not being able, not having the strength. Be quick about it, little wolf. My precious wares, are they not? Until we meet again, Ben Mist. Am I forgetting anything else? I was just going to sell these, right? Alright, peace out, bro. Thanks for all your business. Hold on a second. My phone's been going off. I need to make sure that nothing is crazy right now. Alright. I will reply to this message after stream. <laughs> oh, the pupper. <laughs> Thanks for the pupper pictures, Sam. She's adorable. No, don't pick that up. He might get mad. Missing anything? All right. I'm going to go back down here on the beach. 60 pounds now. Holy crap. That's a. Uh, she's probably taller than Jada. But that's about uh, Jada's weight. Actually, I think Jada's lighter than that. I think Jada's 52, 54. Something like that. Yeah, she's she's getting a big doggo, huh? Where's the rest of my party? Why are they all out of weird formation? Why are you guys in a weird formation? For shame. Losa should probably be up front with Ben Mez, actually. Because she doesn't have very good, uh... This will work. Ben, you can see... There you go! Stay behind. There we go. That'll work. I see things down here, so... There's a doggo. I heard a doggo. There's a doggo. Alright. Sabeel, go talk to the doggo. Dead Majesty. Oh, poor sad doggo. What happened to your master? Attack bones, then sorcerer, flesh, she ran, bones gone, master, sleep, wake up. It's a sad doggo. Isn't gonna wake up. I don't want to concede and say he might wake up. In this situation, I'd probably want to... If I could talk to the animals, I would tell him he's dead. Oh, he doesn't know what dead is. Ugh. Um, tell him when they go to sleep and never wake up. No, sad doggo. The dog is blinded by its muzzle. 
but it turns its face toward you, waiting for your answer. Never ever. As she considers your statement, her nostrils start to twitch. She lifts her head and takes a long uh -oh. drag of the air. Don't make me fight you. No. No. Oh. Kneel down and tell her you're sorry for what happened to her master and you aren't here to hurt her or anyone else. Yes! Master! Master! Wake up! Never ever! Never ever! I'm gonna pet the doggo. I'm sorry, doggo. But I'm gonna loot your master. Ahead! We're gonna eat it. Take a big juicy bite, Sabeel. You are floating a few inches above the ground. Your friends are impressed. You bask in their hoots and hollers. Your favorite party trick. Ooh. You just learned a skill called spread her wings. Oh, she needs another point in polymorph and she can use it. Let me read what it does. Sprout temporary wings to fly when you move, allowing you to ignore ground surfaces. That's dope. Yes, please. How did I get extra memory? And you just not, must not know much stuff. That's cool. We need another point in polymorph. All right, buddy, we're looting your dead friends. I'm sure they have stuff I want. Jar flower. Magister shield. Garbage will sell it. I hear some explosions going on. Hello. That's Wendigo. Hey, bitch. As you approach the woman, Thane gasps. You turn and see that he's fixated on her. It's her. The wrinkled human that stole my mask. Please, I must speak with her. Go for it, dude. The woman traces glyphs in the air and you cringe, expecting a barrage of ice and fire. Instead, a bit of smoke sputters from her. <laughs> she cries to the skies in frustration in a recognizable rail thin rasp. My lord, I loved you. I've He took your powers away. What's my sin? How long must I suffer? She sees Fane approach and punches her fist in his direction. Her face flushes red. It's her, the one that destroyed the ship to Fort Joy. Her eyes flare with recognition. She demands to know who Fane is, what he is. No one should be able to craft something like his mask. Fane dances around her question and reverses it. Who is she? Who is this lord of hers? She does not seem eager to answer him either. The witch opens her mouth to speak, but something happens. Her face droops and her eyes turn black. Fain, the traitor shall be destroyed. That's the same voice Losa gets. Are they going to get Pally Wally? Her eyes clear and she turns her head to the heavens once more. I offer this sacrifice to you. Oh, thank Return goodness. Me to your side. Make you. Oh, you're in trouble. You are surrounded. Yeah. Eat incarnate. Eat. She has a crap ton of magic resistance, so. Eat that too. You got nowhere to hide. It was good to see you, Sam. Appreciate you being here. Hopefully we'll catch you another time, but you have a good night. And take care of yourself. Get him, Crunchy. Oh, almost dead. Oh, she gets to go. Ow. Just hit everyone. Oh, you just critical. Aha, you're trying to run. You got hit by Crunchy. Oh, stop it. Dang it. It means no. Dang it. All right, maybe it does mean something. Dead. 
aren't yes. the only ones looking for me. But who is it and why? A rare prey. Check it out. All sorts of good stuff here. Where's that shield? There it is. Oh, I forgot to equip that, dummy. Where, there it is, add to wares. What is that ability? For source points, gain 10% damage boost for every nearby character or totem. Oh, dope. That works great with this team. Oops. Fane, Mask of the Shapeshifter. Ah. There we go. There's the unidentified stuff. Who has Lore Master? Fane. Uh, you. Then to Fane. And then he can identify. Actually, send to Fane. You just wear it? Turn into a lizard? That's cool. Can turn into things now. Not as fair as my scoundrel visage, but better than being seen as a monster. Nice. All right, two and two. This is awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a little dagger. Ooh, plus one to dual wielding. Kind of sweet. Ooh. Silence or bleeding for a turn? We're going to keep the bleeding one. There we go. Pyrokinetic. Oh. If the character is affected by burning or necrofire, remove these statuses and deal additional damage for each turn of duration remaining. Wow! That's cool. Do I have to have the person selected to identify? Yeah, okay. Scoundrel. Dope. Deal's getting loaded up. Chief. Anything here? I've spotted something. Spotted something. There's a mushroom there. I think. What's that blue thing? Jelly room. An elven skeleton. Wow. Uh, which one do I like better is the question. I think I like the Necromancer. Because that means I can heal more. I can't do it because I don't have finesse. I don't think she has Necromancer. He does. Yeah, that doesn't help at all, so this is fine. Unless this scales with Huntsman. Nope. Cool. I like that better. We could give that to Losa. Nope. We want the Eighth Rouge. Dang it. All right, there we go. 